Chocolate mocha tall. Hot white chocolate mocha? Uh, yes. Grande, okay, anything else? Um, and that'll be it. Okay, I'll see you at the window 435. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, time to get my extensions done. I'm currently walking to the salon. It's literally right behind my store, just in case you guys need a hairstylist. I'm kind of excited. I am kind of nervous on the turnout because I'm not sure if we're going to do highlights or if we're going to... I don't know. I'm just letting Wendy do the magic because she is freaking amazing. We're about to start the process of this thick, crazy hair. And we have our extensions somewhere uh, missing. conversation about extensions as you guys can see I have my makeup on I have my mask completely different person and I love it short hair I realized it is not me yeah it was a fun little change but mm -mm. long hair has always been me long hair is what I've had for my whole life um, this is the old length that I used to have as well reaches up to like my belly button oops or a little higher than my than my belly button and I am obsessed with it um, I feel so pretty like with short hair I felt cute like this I feel like freaking <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and go over price range tape and extensions keratin tips and what else did we discuss? And kind of like the difference between both of them. What I decided to choose was tape in extensions. Um, so we did go a little lighter on my hair. We added some roots up in here. No, we cover up, covered up the roots. And then we added our extensions. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find one for you so you guys can see how they look. But you guys see the process of Wendy doing them. I should have recorded her and put her in this video, but she had a client after. So I kind of like was trying to get out of her way so that she can handle the next client. But here's a piece. So you guys can kind of see them right over here. This is the tape in part, the tape area. And um, they're kind of just like extensions, but tape when you put them in your hair. So you, with the extensions, I realized when she was putting them in, what she did was grab a little thin piece 
and sandwiched this this little piece with extensions. So one on top and one on bottom. So it was a pretty quick process. The dime part honestly took a lot longer. The reason why I chose tape and extensions was because tape and extension is meant to add to add more length than volume. As compared to keratin tips, keratin keratin tips are more of volume than length. So you want to add if you want to add volume to your hair, use keratin tips. If you want to add length, use tape and extensions. I saw this on Google. Do not quote me on that. It's just what I read. Did research. A lot of websites were saying that. them from a wholesale company where I will now be selling extensions so if you guys need or want extensions you guys want a whole new look you want to try keratin tips out or tape and extensions I will be selling them but please keep in mind I feel like some of you guys don't listen to the words that come out of my mouth because I get DMs asking me questions on something that I've discussed so crossing fingers, you guys are paying attention, okay? If you guys want extensions, then please come in at least a week, a week and a half before your hair appointment. So I suggest get your extensions first and then book your appointment. So um, time management, baby. Time management. So, um, I will be selling the extensions at my location. I won't physically have them here. We would have to place them. Or the only reason why I'm doing this is because I can get them for a better price, which is good for you guys. You guys will be saving money because at the end of the day, when it comes to these extensions, and if you're gonna be, if you want, if you're considering getting tape and extensions or keratin tips, then you're gonna probably need a couple packs for your hair. So for me, I needed three packs. Now imagine that. That's almost like anywhere from like $600 itself. Like a pack can be $200 to $300. And I'm being completely honest, you guys can look into that. Um, unless you guys get like a cheap brand that's not like good quality hair, which is a big no-no. Extensions, you are also going to have to pay for the service. Um, if you're gonna dye your hair, that's obviously gonna be a little bit more. Um, you're gonna be having these extensions for your hair for about four to five months before your hair starts growing out and you're gonna have to uh, raise them up. These extensions are really good quality. They look really pretty. I love the way that they look. Um, super soft. I'm super excited to like see the process. Questions, so price range, they can range extensions itself. Um, I'm gonna try my best to get them for a good price, but anywhere from like 150 to uh, 250 around there, just depending on the length of the hair. If you wanna go um, 18 inch, 20, 22. The extensions that I'm wearing that I decided to go with was 20 inch. My hairstylist, her name is Wendy. She is located right behind my store, okay? So you guys can Basically, it's a win-win. Come to my store, get extensions. Once you're done, go to your hair appointment. So, literally, you can, that's what I did. I walked to, obviously, you'll see in this vlog, I walked to her salon and got my hair done there. I've been going to her for a couple years. Literally, I have gotten to the point where if she says something about my hair, I'm just like, okay, do it. I trust you because every time, like, my hair just comes out so freaking beautiful. Like, I love the highlights that she put in my hair. Um, definitely trust her. So, she's amazing. Keratin tips are the ones with the beads where they use like a hot glue gun and kind of like twist. Uh, that one can get a little messy. Uh, that, the only reason why I know that is because of uh, Wendy. She told me about it. Wendy, my hairstylist. She told me about um, the keratin tips can be a bit messy, so uh, she wouldn't recommend it too much, but she does also install them as well. Now, I think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick short vlog of me getting my hair done. Um, how like narcissistic of me. <laughs> 
But I know you guys love hearing these types of things. I wrote on my Snapchat, I posted a selfie and you guys are like obsessed with my hair and I, I love it. Like, <gasps> so happy with the results. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up so you guys can see. Maybe I can like zoom out. Just keep in mind, like this is just a vlog. It's not like a professional video for my Instagram. So I'm gonna zoom out. You guys are gonna see like my whole backdrop system. So ignore. Okay, so this is my setup. I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of the way. Hopefully my booty isn't showing. Okay, good. I cannot see. Hey boss babes! So I am here today with a new outfit, new makeup look, new day. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys an update of my hair. I went on Snapchat, posted a selfie with my hair curled, and I got so many questions on my hair extensions. So I decided to continue this vlog and kind of like update you guys what has been going on the past few days. I also received some messages on Snapchat. I screenshot them so that I can answer them um, on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up those pictures. So I decided to take these biotin pills that help my hair grow and um, they helped out. I decided to take these Vitafusion gummy bears. They are extra strength. They smell, they are delicious by the way. Honestly, like after I finished eating, I would take them. It was just like a little sweet thing to add to my meal. Um, they are 5,000 5, MCG gummies and it is meant for your hair, skin, nails and it's a natural blueberry flavor. I'm pretty sure they have different flavors as well. Um, it's gluten free. No, I was kind of afraid of taking these little gummies. They look like this by the way. They're really delicious. I'm just gonna... So good. Um, just like candy, they are delicious. So with these Biotin pills, I was kind of afraid of breaking out. So when it comes to these types of pills, I always start off very light. Um, I just took one for a couple weeks and then I, I let my body get used to it. Then I started taking two pills, I mean two gummies and my skin was fine. My mom actually took some of these and she said that she started breaking out. And I have a feeling it was because she she just, because it's so strong, your body's just like, whoa, like all of a sudden. So it can cause breakouts. Um, it did for my mama. So yeah, just, I recommend probably taking one for a couple weeks, let your body get used to it and then start taking two. Hopefully that works out for your body. But yeah. Um, these are the pills that a lot of you guys have been asking me about and I have been like Forgetting to post it. So I decided to do it with this video um, And that is what I use to grow my hair out then I got in my extensions um, I wanted to try to take these Biotin pills to kind of like be patient and hopefully my hair will grow out within the next couple of months, but um, It did grow but I'm just so impatient that I was just like, uh-uh, I want my extensions. I just want long hair already, especially because um, we're starting to do a lot of photo shoots of clothes and stuff like that. I just wasn't feeling myself. I wasn't feeling confident. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get myself a wing. Volume. Volume is a pretty interesting topic because uh, once I posted that selfie on Snap, a lot of you guys were saying like, okay, how did you get so much volume in your hair? Like when, where, how, what? Give me all the secrets basically. So when it came to volume, I guess I just got lucky. My hair, I have a lot of hair. Like my hairstylist will tell you like, So after having them for a few days, I noticed on the first night it was kind of uncomfortable to sleep in them. Just imagine like wearing extensions 24-7. Um, I can't like sleep on my side of my head just because it's kind of like uncomfortable and it's like 
pulling on the hair. You might feel like little pieces of strands like just getting stuck and not in a comfortable position. So um, I kind of like, I don't know, I sleep like on this side. I put like a pillow right here. I still sleep comfortable, but it's just like not the same. And I can't sleep like on the back of my head. So if you're a back person when you sleep, then... I use uh, this one to get me my full big waves. Um, full big big waves. This is the Con Air. This is the Con Air curler. Um, I don't know how many inches inches it is or where I got it. It's actually my mama's, and I stole it from her. Crossing fingers. Crossing fingers. She is not watching this because she about to pull out the chancla. I think that's about it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative for you guys. Um, I tried to give as much details as I can. Um, if you guys have any more questions, don't hesitate. Ask below, comment, and I will try to respond through there. And if, um, and yeah, I think that's about it. I mainly wanted to come back and give you guys an update on everything and how it looks curled because you guys saw it, how it looks straight. Also, I forgot one more thing. So when you first get these extensions, they are going to be very shiny because they have chemicals in them um, to make it look like very... to keep it... I don't know why. Honestly, extensions... My hairstylist told me that it has like chemicals in them just to make it shiny. But once you wash it off, it will look like natural hair as you guys can see like literally it doesn't look like chemical or fake or anything like that so i was really worried about that when it came to the extensions but she's like don't worry it'll be fine so it came out really good i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um how it looks in the back and how like you guys can't see like the extensions or anything like that i'm gonna turn around so this is how it looks from behind really pretty freaking love how much hair I have and it looks very natural I just I, I am so glad with the outcome so yes I guess that is the ending of this video I hope it was very informative for you guys I try my best to answer a ton of questions if you guys have more comment down below if you guys like this video please show some support subscribe check out my Instagram and don't forget we will be doing a free giveaway on a new ring light so stay tuned my Instagram will give you guys all of that information and I will talk to you guys later bye guys